Watchman. Welcome one more time to the Watchman Radio Program. A program that is all about the end times and to open your awareness to the times that we are living in and to make you aware of the nearness of the imminent and soon coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to rapture his bride, to rapture the church. Are you ready to be raptured? Are you walking with Christ? Are you following him every step of the way? Are you fully submitted to his will and his way? Are you at the edge of your seats, sitting, waiting, and watching for his soon return? Are you? Is your head up in the sky? Are you looking up? knowing and realizing fully well that your redemption draws nigh serious questions what are your answers are they favorable or are you not sure or are they just simply no or my warning today to you is to make your calling and election sure now before it is too late as i said earlier Time is much shorter than you think. We do not have time to play around, to waste, even to live. We do not have time. Time is short, people. And so we are here to warn you. We are here to help to prepare you, to get you ready, and to give you that opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. To make your calling and election sure. So that at the appointed time. That you will be able to come. To the marriage supper of the Lamb. Where the bride of Christ. Will be. Just after the moment. Of the rapture. And so the program today. That I would like to. Bring to you. And uh, I just realized I did not introduce myself. Uh, just for the sake of our new listeners, my name is Minister Curtis Roach, and I'm from Shiloh Revival Tamanaco. Okay, so that's out of the way. As I was saying, the program that I'm bringing to you is a word from the Lord. And it uh, it is saying, why prayer is so vitally important and we'll be talking about just that today prayer why it is so vitally important and the scripture verse that the Lord has given to me to share with you of course I'll be sharing other scripture but I want you to note this to write this across your heart and across your mind because I believe it is very important. It is a very powerful verse. I want you to get the message, get the word that it is speaking to you as an individual. Not only just get it, but apply it to your life, to every situation of your life. And that scripture verse is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 26 verse 41 Matthew chapter 26 verse 41 and it reads and I'll read the King James version for you it says watch and pray that you enter not into temptation the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak let that sink into your spirit. Let that sink into your minds for a moment. Scripture is saying, Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. That the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And I want you to know today, that this uh, passage of scripture is so very much important to you and to all of us 
for the main fact that we are living in the last days that the end is nigh even at the door so the Lord is telling us hey listen watch 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 and pray 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 that you enter not into temptation the Lord is saying listen the devil he is coming to tempt you in the book of Revelation we learn and we know that the enemy he comes down he's, he has come down with great wrath he has come down to pour out his wrath upon the inhabitants of this world and so he'll be raining temptations left to right and center upon you today some of you it will be the greatest temptation ever you will ever have to face or maybe the last great temptation you will have to face maybe not just some but maybe all of you maybe all of us we all have to face some great temptations because the enemy knows he has but a short time he knows fully well he knows the word of god even so much more than us and he knows what is coming he knows that his time is short do you know that your time is short he knows and so he, he has come down with great wrath. And he'll be raining temptations to get as many as possible to, to, to fall into sin. So that they can go to suffer with him where he is destined for. His place is sure. He knows where he's going. He knows what he will have to go through. And he does not like it. He's not happy about it. And so he wants God's creation, you and I, to follow suit with him, to go with him where he's going, to burn in hell forever, to be tortured forever, to be in lament forever. So the word of the Lord is coming to you today, to come into all of us, and I take it for myself as well, to watch and pray that we enter not into temptation it says the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh our flesh we ourselves we are weak although our spirit our renewed spirit if we are christians and washed in the blood that spirit is willing yes i'm going to push forward for the lord i'm going to stand in the lord i'm going to stand on his word I'm going to do all this and do all that so that I can please my God. But the flesh will be struggling to accomplish all those tasks. Our flesh will be struggling, not a maybe about it. We will be struggling. That flesh is weak. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is indeed weak. Uh, let me just tell you the story about this verse prior to the mention of this verse this chapter spoke or this passage spoke about jesus just moments after he was arrested to go to his death and in this passage of scripture i want to read it as, as well for you from verse 36 of that same chapter I'll read it down to the 41 verse that we have just read that verse that I want you to really meditate and think upon I'll read it from the ESV version this time from verse 36 which says then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane and he said to his disciples sit here while I go over there and pray and taking with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is very sorrowful, even to death. Remain here and watch with me. And going a little farther, he fell on his face and prayed, saying, My father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. 
And he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So, could you not watch with me for one hour? And verse 41 says, He said to them, Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. So you see here, exactly what we have just spoken about where temptation will be rained upon us at a very vital moment now i want us to liken this same scenario if you have pictured it in your mind liken it to our situation in the world right now at this time jesus in this passage of scripture was coming to the pinnacle of his life he was coming to the point of completion where he had accomplished his task where he has lived and done all what he needed to do and is coming to the end of it all it is in that same way we are now coming to the end of our time here in this world we are coming to the pinnacle of our lives right now and what Jesus did at that time, when he's coming to the pinnacle of his life, he decided to go and pray. And that is why he's telling us today to pray. He is telling us today to watch and pray. And look what he did there. He went up to that mountain Gethsemane and he took with him three of his disciples Peter and the sons of Zebedee and this is what we are to be doing today is to stand in gap for our brothers and sisters and also ask them to stand in the gap on our behalf we have to be praying for one another we have to be standing up with one another holding up one another in this time it is very important that we pray make time for prayer at all times not just one or two times a day or for a few minutes a day we have to spend quality time in prayer. It is very important, very vital. And Jesus is showing us his example in this passage of scripture today. So he took with him Peter and the sons of Zebedee and expressed to them how he was feeling, showing them that he was sorrowful and troubled even unto death. And how did Jesus pray? Is also a very important point for us to look at today he did not just go and uh, give a normal prayer to the, his father this was a serious prayer that he did the bible tells us that he fell on his face that means he fell prostrate he went straight down on his face to talk to his father to talk to god to pray to god again we here now we have to be serious in our time of prayer not just going and saying a few words oh holy father blah 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 this and that and that and this and then over we have to go with all sincerity with all seriousness we have to go with a heart knowing that god is hearing us and he will answer us and so Jesus fell down on his face and we have to show God real reverence today when we approach him on our behalf and on the behalf of our family and friends and even the lost souls in this world. We have to cry out in prayer just like the days of old. Ask our old grandparents who were Christians back then when they prayed they would tell you that when they prayed, they prayed with tears in their eyes. They cried out to the Lord unceasingly. And so today, 
this is how I believe that we need to be we need to be going to the Lord with a broken heart crying out and telling the Lord all that we need to tell him and so we would like to follow the example that Jesus is giving us here today but listen as I said before the temptation will be coming just like it happened there again in verse 40 when Jesus went after he had prayed he went back and saw that they all fell asleep and that was a temptation to fall asleep and listen I'm sure that all of you out there who are listening can identify with the spirit of slumber I can testify before I go to prayer meeting at home I'm all well I'm all alive and full of energy driving there I'm all full of energy I'm at the venue sitting and waiting before we start all is well I'm alive and full of energy but when we start to sing that first hymn the yawning starts that laziness starts to creep in on you that spirit of slumber starts to work and how many times do we decide we are going to devote some time in prayer or devote some time in reading the word and, and the moment we start we start to yawn we start to yawn and we can't stop our eyes we're starting to nod in our kind of thing until we finally fall asleep in the middle of what we are doing or in the middle of what we were trying to do that is a great temptation we were willing to read the word of God we were willing to spend time in prayer talking to our father which is in heaven but that flesh that weak flesh succumbs to the spirit of slumber and it happens almost all the time and so we have to be determined today to fight 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 against this today fight against the spirit of slumber fight against this temptation to sleep to put down our bibles and, and go and take a rest to cut our prayer time in, in, in two so that we can go back to sleep we have to fight that temptation fight it with all our strength we have to because we may not have the opportunity again and the, the prayers and supplications that we are to lift up to God we may not have that opportunity and the chance to do it again there may be others depending on us to lift them up to stand in the gap on their behalf but because we fall asleep because we decide to succumb to the pressure or to the temptation of slumber that we neglect our duties this is exactly what the disciples did they had a responsibility to stand up with Jesus that's why he carried them with him when he went out to pray he wanted their support but they failed they went into temptation they succumbed to the temptation and so they failed in their responsibility are we failing today in our responsibility to stand in the gap are we succumbing to that spirit of slumber again watch and pray is what the Lord is telling us to watch and pray that we may not enter into that temptation we have to fight against our flesh as we come to the pinnacle of time as we come to the pinnacle of this world as we come to the pinnacle of our very lives and our time here on earth we have to do all that we can we have to shut off everybody else and everything else 
so that we can devote our time in prayer interceding on our behalf interceding on behalf of our families our wives our children interceding on behalf of our churches interceding especially behalf on behalf of every lost soul in this world we have to do it now or never as i said before we will not have that opportunity as time goes by because our time is indeed extremely short james 5 16 tells us that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much we have to intercede on behalf of ourselves and others but this verse is telling us that we have to be righteous when we're doing so we cannot be living in sin when we are interceding or as our prayers will not avail much the form of part of that verse tells us that we need to confess our faults to one another and that's exactly what it means we cannot be sinful or living in sin in any way we cannot have anybody up in our hearts when we go to pray he says pray for one another one another that we may be healed and that is not only talking about physical healing but also spiritual healing we have to pray watch and pray and at times we may need to include fasting in our prayers because there are certain things there are certain stubborn things that will require that extra power that is gained through prayer and fasting just like the example jesus gave in matthew chapter 17 where a young boy that was brought to him or you no know, initially that young man was brought to his disciples and for whatever reason they were unable to deal with the case and so the young man was then carried to jesus and jesus cast out that spirit forthwith right away and he told them that this kind of spirit or this stubbornness or this problem go it not out but by prayer and fasting so clearly he's saying here that there are certain things that have to be dealt with through prayer and fasting as prayer alone may not be enough may not be strong enough so we have to bear that in mind also when we pray that at times we have to include fasting don't neglect that part of it every now and again fast and pray knowing that in all things as it says in matthew 21 22 whatsoever you ask in prayer believe in ye shall receive once you're at that point where you can pray and you have the faith to believe that what you have asked the lord for that you will get it then the scripture is promising you that you shall you shall receive it philippians 4 6 says be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be known unto god be careful for nothing you don't have to worry about it once you're praying according to the will of god everything that you lift up before him will get an answer so all you need to do is to pray and then give thanks thank you thank the lord that is faith romans 12 12 says rejoicing in hope patient in tribulation continuing instant in prayer we have a hope in jesus christ that is worth rejoicing over no matter what our situation is no matter what our trials or temptations are we have a hope at the end of the line at the end of that dark tunnel there is that hope in jesus christ that is awaiting us and so we have all confidence 
knowing that we can rejoice in that hope we can rejoice in that hope because that hope is sure it says to be patient in tribulation yes we will go through some difficult times yes we will experience some hard times even persecution at work getting fired for things that you do to hold on to your faith in Christ you will suffer persecution for the very name of Christ the Lord is saying here to be patient be patient in it your hope is coming up all you need to do in the latter part of that verse it says to continue instant in prayer just pray just pray whatever you're going through just pray whatever you see whatever you experience just pray pray to God pray without ceasing first Peter 4 7 says but the end of all things is at hand be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer again affirmation of what we have talked about before and this verse is going a bit further and letting us know that the end of all things is at hand and because the end is at hand it is telling us therefore be sober and watch and pray very serious words and the final uh, scripture that I want to share with you is taken from the book of Revelation 8 verses 3 and 4 which says and another angel came and stood at the altar having a golden censer and there was given unto him much incense that he would offer it with the prayers of all saints unto the golden altar which was before the throne and the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up before God out of the angel's hand listen our prayers will be offered up with incense before the very throne of God when we pray we do not pray for nothing our prayers are important our prayers they are vital vital to the point where an angel will go before God with those prayers not just empty-handed but also with incense to offer it with the incense how special or how important or how vital our prayers are watch and pray watch and pray today and make sure you do not fall into temptation our prayer is vitally important the enemy knows this so he will come with that spirit of slumber each and every time that we go down on our knees each and every time we go down on our faces each and every time we dedicate to doing this the enemy he will be on the attack this is the strategy that he will use in this time just as he used it back then satan has no creative power he cannot come up with new tricks so we know and we can learn from the scriptures how he will attack us in certain situations and we see from the scripture that we expounded today that this is how he attacks us when we go to prayer this is how he will attack through slumber when we go into the word and we go to prayer he will bring that spirit of slumber to distract us and eventually to pull us away from what we had planned to do so let us not be ignorant of that device of the enemy as we have learned today let us be aware of it and let us combat it we need to have a cup of coffee to keep us up let us do just that whatever we need to do so that we can continue instant in prayer so that we will not succumb to the temptation of slumber of sleepiness whatever we need to do we need to be doing it as of today let it be our plan it will be a sure thing for us when we recognize this is how the enemy will come 
And this is what I need to do. Whatever you need to do, whatever will work for you, start doing it. Don't worry about the enemy coming up with something else. He has nothing else to come up with. Just do what you need to do. To watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. Fight that flesh however you need to fight it. And let it, by all means, line up with the willingness of your spirit. Let your spirit be in charge. Let your spirit be in control. Let your spirit lead the way. Keep the lead and take you through to the end. Hallelujah. And that is the word that the Lord has for us today is to watch, watch, and pray. You are listening to the Watchman. So as we wind down and come to the end of the program, quite obviously this is something that is vitally important. And you see the thing with prayer, spending time in prayer and spending time in the word, this is also what allow us to grow in God this is what builds us up spiritually when we want spiritual strength this is what we use prayer spending time with God talking to him and listening to him through his word so we have all this to our advantage when we dedicate ourselves to doing them and that is why if we do it if we do them that the enemy will not be able to deceive us he will not be able to win any victory over us over our lives we'll be able to stand stand strong we'll be able to stand tall we'll be able to intercede on behalf of our friends and families and be successful in doing so so strongly want to encourage each and every one of us today To not be weary in going down on your knees and praying to God and while you're doing so know that the enemy will come and, at and attack the flesh with slumber You will start to feel tired. You'll start to feel weak. But fight it. You have the strength. Don't think that you can't do it. You can. You can overcome it. One way or the other. Through your own strength, will. Or if you need to use means such as coffee and stuff like that. Do what you need to do. To overcome that spirit of slumber and just before I leave I just want to as usual extend an invitation to you if you are listening and you are not saved realizing that we have but a short time no time to be fooling around or playing around with your salvation. You know that God is speaking to you. You are being convicted one way or the other. But somehow you do not know 
what to do what to say maybe you are living in a country where you do not have a church to go to or there are no churches around where you can step into or even if there's a church that you are not getting what you need to get from it so you have no way to turn but I want to let you know that the Lord has directed you to listen to this program today for such a time and for such a reason that you can receive what you're looking for today what the Lord has died to give you what he is offering you as a free gift today you can receive it without hesitation I want to give you that opportunity right now if you're listening live to this broadcast or if you're listening to the YouTube replay of this program today I want to give you that opportunity to receive the free gift of salvation that Jesus Christ went on that cross and bled and died to give you this prayer that I want that I'm going to say I want you to just repeat it and all that I want you to do is to believe because as we learned earlier anything that we ask for whatsoever we ask for in prayer all we need to do is to believe and we will receive there are no two ways about it that is what the scripture says and the word of God is sure so having said that I just want you to repeat this prayer after me wherever you are say Lord Jesus son of the true and living God you said in your word that if I confess my sins that you will forgive me of them I know that I, that I know that I am a sinner please forgive me of all my sins and cleanse me from all my unrighteousness or wash me clean with your blood and fill me with your Holy Spirit Please let my name be written in the book of life. As of this very moment, as you come into my heart. Thank you for answering my prayer. Thank you for saving me. Amen. Hallelujah. And if you have said that prayer, congratulations and welcome into the family of Christ. What you have just received, do not let it go. You have the power to hold on tight. You have the power over the enemy. He cannot come and snatch it away from you. You can let it go. But I'm imploring you today to hold on to it and never let it go. Live a holy life. Walk righteous before God always, before he comes. Hold on to your faith in him. Stand strong. Stand tall. And do not be deceived in any way by the tricks of the enemy. As I said before, he knows that his time is short. And so he will be coming with full force. So you have to be fully aware of this. And hold on strong live your life in prayer and in the word in these last days this is important it may not be easy but it is vitally important the watchman the watchman the watchman the watchman the watchman the watchman the watchman
time to go time has gone and i want to thank you for tuning in you are listening to everlasting life radio broadcasting live from the united kingdom you are listening to the watchman radio program with your host minister curtis Roach from shiloh revival tamanac and uh, as i leave i just want to extend an invitation to you up there if you are in london or planning a trip to london at any time if you'd like to find a church to worship on a Sunday, we will find or get the unadulterated Word of God. Take you can uh, visit us at Parkview School on West Green Road in London. The postcode there is N153QR and you'll find us there every Sunday from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. If you'd like to contact me for any further information, you can find me on Facebook by searching for Minister Curtis Roach. Or you can also search for the page for this program under the name The Watchman Radio Program. As I said before, this program will be uploaded to YouTube sometime tomorrow or even later this evening. Uh, you can find it under my YouTube channel, which is under my name, Curtis Roach. Curtis Roach, that is spelled C-U-R-T-I-S-R-O-A-C-H. Jesus come.